Hello friends, my name is Kisan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to look a functional interface which is having some return type. So till yet we have considered a functional interface which is having a method with zero and many uh, parameters as a input parameters. But here in this example, we learn how we can define a functional interface which is having method with some return type. So this slide shows returning a value from a lambda expression. You can return values from Java lambda expressions just like you can from a method. You just add a return statement to the lambda function body. Uh, here you can see we have a one input parameter to this lambda and finally I am just printing value of this parameter in the lambda expression expression uh, body and uh, just I am returning that value. In case all your lambda expressions is doing is to calculate a return value and return it you can specify the return value in a shorter way. Instead of this like you have a parameter like a1 comma a2 and just you are returning a1 if a1 greater than a2 then this value will be returned as a boolean value right so and that is already inferred by the uh, this lambda expressions now this expression you can write in this way also a1 comma a2 and lambda expression sign and directly instead of writing return a1 greater than a2 in shorter way you can write a1 greater than a2 now the compiler then figures out that the expression a1 greater than a2 is the return value of the lambda expression hence the name lambda expression as expressions returns a value of some kind right that's the name of that's the name which is given by the java engineer lambda expressions means finally this is going to return a some value right some boolean value over here now let's go ahead and create a uh, java project and I would give give lambda exp expression uh, with return value return value now click on the next and finally click on the finish button now this project we have created now let's create a interface first now give the package name as infotech.com and uh, interface name I am going to specify my interface and this interface I am going to mark as functional interface and here I am going to add a method which is having written type as a boolean and this boolean uh, let's say method is method name is test and this method accepts two integer value n1 and int n2 so the boolean simple interface having method as a test and it accepts two integer value now let's create a client program give the method name as client test and client test and which is having main method and here we are going to define lambda for this interface now my interface my interface and equal to here I am going to exp define lambda for this so n1 comma n2 and here you don't need to specify return type I mean method uh, argument type so directly you can define n1 n2 and this instead of n1 n2 you can take another variable as well and here uh, curly bracket open and close and here you can specify the return value right and return value you can say if n1 greater than n2 then this returns a value 
boolean value right so this is the lambda expression we have defined now using this reference we can call its method and actually we can print it SOP so we can call a test method and here we can pass n140 and n2 we can pass 35 and see what value is going to return by this execution now we get the true value means this lambda expression is executed successfully now let's invoke again and at this time I'll give uh, first value is 40 and second value is 45 and second SOP details false value so that means this lambda expression is executing successfully so we have defined lambda in this way now here is specifying the return keyword is optional so I'm going to simplify this guy now what I'll do I'm going to remove this sorry curly bracket open and close and even you can space return remove return as well and this is your simplified version of your lambda expression now and now if I run it then this will execute successfully so that's all about this slide and we have seen in practical example so I hope you understood how we can define our lambda expression with a different type of return uh, type here we have taken a return type as a boolean but it's not mean that always will have a boolean you can define any primitive type or wrapper class return type or any custom data type so in next i mean series of video today we will see uh, our function interface uh, will return some custom data type as well so that's all i wanted to show in this video tutorial and thanks for watching this video